bailas conmigo. Es el mamón en su castigo. Okay, we're heading back to Tuxpan. Show the land one last time. At least while I'm here. Wish we could sell this. <laughs> That's just, just somebody buy it. <laughs> the old arches. There now. The people are already out there to look at the land. Yeah. Okay. I want to be here in the spot entrance. Yeah, the entrance. Okay. Looking jeeps. And we'll wait for the guy. Okay, at him. Yeah. He's worked for Nissan. Oh, he works for Nissan. Oh wow. Okay. Technician. He must be making some decent money. Way to Mexico City or Cuernavaca. Federales. Still done nothing with this road. It's throwing water down. That's keep the dust down. That's good. a bike on this road, that's got to be fun. A bunch of wood. Brush Club 
family campsite club. Camp by the lake. visit to the land. I doubt I'll be back here again after today. Uh, the big palms. Yeah, did not think I was coming out here but we had a sudden call. Guys have been trying to meet up for a week. Finally met up with them today. They want to see the land. So my brother-in-law is showing it to him. He's also got power of attorney for me so he can sell the property while I'm gone as I'm leaving early Monday morning. Today is Saturday, like afternoon. So, oh man, where are my Crocs? I've still got a spine and one of my shoes that's still poking me. I can't get out. It's uh, not the best sandals to be walking around this land on, but oh, here we are back again. This will, yeah, this will be the last time I walk on our property. I wasn't planning on coming out here again, but like I said, sudden call from a prospective buyer. Sounds interested, so we're like, all right, let's go. Let's come on out. So, ah, uh, it's still just kind of... Kind of, you know, sobering. You know, just we had such big plans. Money started getting tight back in 2010. We never recovered. And my wife got sick and uh, passed away a couple weeks ago. So, unfortunately, the dream is is over. Just not not going to happen anymore. Tamarindo tree, tamarindos in the in there. Yeah, we could have made our own tamarindo water. That's some good stuff too. If you've never had it, very good, refreshing, natural water. Uh, but yeah, this is like I said the last time I was here. I mean, this is just depressing. I have plans on building a house in between these two coconuts and our three over there. We're going to have a nice, well, you know, I planned on something pretty decent size. Um, just never, never came to be. We bought the land, then we had this rock and sand delivered for, you know, for concrete. And uh, there it sat. I think we had this delivered. We bought the land in 2009, so I think it was, that was in June, so I think December 2009 we had this brought out. It's in the playlist, you know, probably December 2009, 2010 uh, playlist, I believe it's there. Yeah, we had really, you know, I started pulling up housing plans and we we're going to build our dream home here. Basically a vacation home. I still wasn't sure if I was going to move here, like, on a long-term basis, but, uh, yeah, we still had planned on building something and uh, yeah unfortunately like I said just you know my wife got sick oh well, money was tight money got sick or my wife got sick and then uh, yeah it just didn't happen oh man, man. And I had a little bit of a brush fire back here I guess we're trying to clear the lots but you know it was getting kind of expensive. We cleared this one, and I think they charged us 800 to 1,000 pesos. I mean, it was a lot of work. You know, these are all briar bushes, and 
And it was getting kind of expensive, so we are like, let's just, you know, yada, my wife, Yadi, she wanted to sell at least just the one lot, which is the Tamarindo lot. That's what we called it. These cocos are on the mid, middle lot. Um, and the three coconuts with the septic tank and the well are on the, we got three lots, 15, then lot 16, which is what we would have to split between myself and my mother-in-law and lot 17, which is mine. So, you know, that discussion had come up. I think I mentioned that before. My mother-in-law was going to build something. We started going through all the bills, all the expenses. We did that a couple nights ago. Uh, I don't think I even mentioned that in my videos. But total bill came to like 94,700 pesos. And, I mean, that's everything. Um, yeah, that's what I'm responsible for. And I, you know, told my brother-in-law and my mother-in-law, look, you know, you want to keep your portion of land, that's all well and good, but I can't. I can't keep mine. There's no way I can pay this bill back unless I sell my property. So that's why I just, you know, building something, a dream home for, you know, memory of my wife was just not an option. I'm trying to think realistically here. And after I showed him the bill, after everything was accrued and calculated, and I'm like, look, I got to sell. I don't have a choice. There's no, I have no option here. And then, you know, the, everybody's kind of mum about it now. Like, you know, maybe they understand my side that, you know, perhaps it's not the best idea to build something. You know, we need to let it go. Just start over. Let it go and start, start again. So, yeah. So he's still showing the land to the guys there. And we've got one friend, that's uh, our nephew Omar. He sounds very interested, but he's been busy. He's interested in my three lots. He wants to buy all three of them. You know, once again, the saying goes, money talks, bullshit walks. And so far, no one has coughed up any money. Not even anything for a, uh, a deposit or, you know, like a down payment where we would get the notary public that did our power of attorney um, to do the agreement. So, uh, we're just looking for some serious buyers, you know, just, just I just want to sell this, just, you know, move on, pay the bill off, and then see what I have left, which, <laughs> honestly, won't be much. I mean, when it's all said and done, I might scrape 130000 left when it's all said and done. You know, got to pay this bill off, I mean... Yeah, this is, this is, this is sad, but like I said before, this will be the last, the last time I walk on this property. I'm leaving Monday, early Monday morning, and I do not know when I'll be back. Um, so, yeah, back to life, back to reality. The other, another saying goes. Say, okay, here we go. So find out where I can travel in. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't really know what else to say or show you here. I'm just kind of along for the ride. Thought I'd make a vlog, one last vlog from our land. Um, it's the other coconut. Coconuts everywhere. Yeah, dirt pile from the septic tank when we had that built 2010, maybe? I don't remember. I have to look back in my videos, but yeah, we started trying to get started, you know, to build something. Just, yeah, see the walls collapsed in there. So, again, that's not, not my problem anymore. I'm not, not concerned, you know. We're just, again, trying to sell it. I think we planted that palm tree a little too close. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Let me get back in the shade here. <sighs> yeah, he's back in the corner showing him the well. Call it a, call it a pozo, I believe. Oh man, yeah, yeah, 
this is yeah, this is just just sad. <sighs> but hmm. oh well, what can you say? What can you do? Yeah, the guys are walking back towards the front. I'll just walk back this way and let them talk. I'd rather not be not be around. Yeah, more coconuts. Yeah, Yachty fell in love with this property just because of these trees. I like them too. I mean, you know, I thought it'd be cool. Coconuts falling in the yard and chop one open and get some coconut milk or water, whatever it is. And, uh, yeah, but, yeah, like I said, I'm just thinking back on, on what could have been, but man, mosquitoes are flying around. I can't, I got to keep moving, stand still. They start coming in, buzzing my ear, wanting to bite me. Um, Man, oh man, yep. the rock pile. I remember this well. We had them deliver it. Oh, man. Yeah, it's going to be very sobering when I get home. Nothing but video and pictures are all I'm going to have of the property. Some of the housing plans that I found, you know, are pretty nice. We're looking at something similar to what my brother-in-law has. He's, you know, where I stay, um, he's got like five bedroom, three bath, two-story house. Very nice. They're thinking doing something similar here, you know, having a pool. Yeah, we both dreamed about having a pool. We just couldn't decide what kind we were going to have. I wanted something square. We could play like water volleyball or something. She was wanting something fancier with, you know, curves and, you know, rounded, you know, rounded shape to it and stuff. Yeah, I say, like, well, well, we'll figure something out. We'll try to, you know, again, we just, we were thinking just build, she was wanting something one level. And I'm thinking, no, let's get something two levels. I was even thinking, you know, having a little, you know, place up top, like a, small office but just be and like an observing tower to be able to get get a good view of you know Tuxpan Mountain and the lake and just you know the mountains I mean you know, look at this you know just the scenery you know it's just you know it's just awesome but uh, yeah now like I said you know we have to sell I mean I don't have a choice our dream, unfortunately, passed away with my wife. So, and I got to pay these medical bills off. The only way I can do it is selling the land. So, and as far as I'm concerned, when I come back, you know, I will be back, you know, down this way. I'm just coming to visit. I'm not coming to stay. I'm not coming to live here on a permanent basis. I just don't see that happening. Um, there's the main mountain at the base of Tuxpan. But, uh, yeah. This is the unfortunate reality. So, yeah, I get out of this sun. I'm kind of getting roasted here. I'll go back with a redneck tan. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to be out here tomorrow. When I go home Monday, January 30, I do not know when I'll be back. But when I do come back, I doubt I'll be coming back out here. I mean, you never know, no, maybe. I don't know. But why? You know, I don't I don't see why. Come back out here just to torture myself. Oh, someone bought our land. Oh look what they built. You know. I really don't want to see someone else's dream. I'd rather just walk away sell the land and uh, start a new so 
Alright. Well, we might be getting ready to go, so we'll walk on out of here and head on out. We'll see. Adios to the land. It's probably the last time I'm here. They sound interested or just... Uh, he said he, he, wanna, he was thinking about it. Yeah. He liked the lands. Okay. And I showed that the lake is close. the layout. Close. Yeah. He said he, he needs to talking about when um, one friend or compadres. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a few around it, whatever. They don't like it. They like it. He wants it like out in the way. country. Okay. Well, hopefully you can come up with the money again. Like you said, you know, like we were saying, you know, money talks. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, party there. Yeah, it's a party going on. I heard that music. I was wondering where it was coming from. Probably a housewarming party. I mean, we bought our land for the seclusion. We thought it'd be quiet, but as people start building, it's going to be just as noisy. Mm -hmm. yep. Adios to the palmettas, the coconuts. Probably had them come out to clear the debris so there's no, it doesn't look like the land is barren and somebody else tries to sell it. So I heard there was an issue about that. Someone just put a sign up trying to sell the land. They didn't even have the ownership, it belonged to, to Rocio, trying to sell it from out on, from underneath her. And luckily, they caught it.
am I backing up? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Rainers. Wow. Oh, they're the candidates for the Rainer Oh, for the Queen? queen. Like a beauty queen contest. Queen oh, okay. Still. 